Recording. <coughs> so first question. Uh, how did it happen that uh, you had to cancel Goldburn this year on the, the European tour? Uh, it was for recording the new album, but uh, what, what was the main constraint uh, about the studio? <laughs> Um, we felt one of our members was unable to be able to make the time to, to tour and we had already had the shows booked and it became apparent to them that they were not going to be able to come and it was short enough notice that we didn't feel we had enough time to bring somebody else in and have it be to the, the quality that we demand of our tightness and the, the, uh, to be able to have enough songs put together. Um, obviously we're going to be performing the album, The Unreal Never Lived, but it's very, <laughs> I think for someone coming in who didn't know the record, it would be, be quite a task to learn how to play it. And so um, rather than butcher it at our most favorite festival, <laughs> we canceled and we were heartbroken. <laughs> yes, yes, no. So, can we expect uh, you have to play at next audition? Yes. Yes. Um, it's, it is 99% in the bag. It's not gotten the confirmation 100%. However, um, I do believe that we've been invited. Um, I already talked to everybody involved. My only hesitation in saying yes, it's happened is just because I haven't heard it from them. But I know it is going to happen. And to my understanding, we are going to play two sets. Yeah. One of which is the set we are going to play, The Unreal Never Live. And then, at the afterburner, as a thank you for people being patient with us um, for having to cancel, we will play Catharsis. Oh, yeah. Ooh. The whole rep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so. Uh, these questions are uh, often focused uh, as you as uh, the leader of York and uh, so that we don't know much, at least me, uh, about Travis and Aaron. Uh, in which way do they, do their characters give also strength to York as a collective? Well, Yob has had, this is our fifth lineup, sixth if you consider Rob from Dark Castle playing with Yob um, for the tour, but our fifth lineup. And as the band leader, I don't bring anybody into this band that can't have a 100% contribution. It's not me telling people what to do or how to do it. I'm just very careful to make sure that there are people that are share the same vision so that we can contribute to the same vision. The vision is my vision. I mean, I created Yob, the yeah. subject matter. I do write the music, but I do not want to be um, like a president, uh, you know, or a CEO, or a tyrant. you know, and then pointing the fingers of what people are to do. Um, I bring people in that would already naturally know what to do, given their background and given their expertise. And I always make sure that we are friends first. So when I bring people into the fold, it's people that I already know outside of music. And so, or maybe they're from other bands but we already know each other, already are friends, and already you know, have a good time, and so then we can make Yob work because we have that foundation. Um, you know, I, I, I'm not into hiring musicians. Um, so Travis has been with the band since 2003, very long time. Uh, Aaron is an old friend of ours, Travis and Aaron grew up together, and they've played in many bands together before Yob. So 
when he and, and Aaron started playing together. <laughs> we should go over here. Yeah. <laughs>